Another day, another dollar in Elche. Elche, yeah. That's where we are. So where better place to start this than the tourist information office. So we've picked up our free map and we've just been told that there's a tourist train that leaves on the hour out every hour outside the tourist office. Three euros fifty. So let's give it a go. And we're near the hour. Yeah. So, so we might as well wait for it. Let's try the train. There's the train. No, it is the train. And here it is. Baby. It's a little train. <laughs> it's a good it's train. A, it's, a, it's a road train. <laughs> it's quite cool though. It is cool, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Look at this. Woohoo! No, this is a, this is ideal. This car park. This car park walking around corn and dropping into tourist information. There's a train coming. Yeah. Spot on. And it's free car park as well. Generation explorers will love a free car park. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three euros fifty though on the train each. each. But it'll give us a good sight yeah. of where we want to come and explore. So yeah. UNESCO declared the Palm Road, Elche, a human heritage site in the year 2000. So the tourist train, in a nutshell, Darren, worth it or not worth it? Uh, We're here to experience these things so that people can decide for themselves whether or not to do it. Three euros fifty each. It was all right. It was all right, but you couldn't we really see much, didn't could see you? Much. No, yeah. you didn't see much. Do it if you want to do it for three euros fifty. But you don't see much, so don't bother. Right, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Brick towards lunch. <laughs> Look at that for a storm drain. It's all painted. And all the palm trees that Ouch is famous for. So this is the oldest bridge in Ouch. Just seen one of these and I'm right intrigued as to what this is. It's on the street. So you open it, put your bottle in, fills it with milk. One euro thirty. A litre. Wow. <laughs> How cool is that? The one thing we have noticed being here is all the little shutters. They're all painted. Ouch is hugely famous for palm trees. I don't know where Darren's gone. He's still over there. 200,000 of them to be precise. It's just so many. That's a pretty. You see that dude? There's a dude up there. He moved, but I'm not sure. The little guy up there. There's two, there's one and there's one higher. Yeah. He just moved to ding the bell. Yeah. But. That's quite cool. It's quite cool. You're going to have to wait another hour now to see if he does it again. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh. Some more foundations they've unearthed. 
data it says this was excavated in 2014. Excuse the banging of the bins. No, I was just saying there's one or two places that we've been to that's that's had similar yeah. kind of finds, which is it just makes it interesting. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I'll have a snap of that. It's just pretty square this one. Very pretty. The rain stop play. Yeah, it's not bad though. So we're back in the car and we're going back to the motorhome, aren't we? We is. Yeah. So what did you think about Ouch? It's all right. It's interesting enough. Yeah. Does enough for three, four, five hours. Hmm. But, but then beyond that, nah. nah. Not for me. No. They've got some good parks to walk around and like there's, I mean, there's so many palm trees, this, which is what this place is famous for, like I said. And there's loads of parks you can go walk around. But pff, today we just, just couldn't. <laughs> it's just... Oh, a lovely place, though. Yeah. Lovely place. Yeah, beautiful. Right, so we're, gonna, we're off now. We hope you've enjoyed our little walk around. Ouch. And we'll see you on the next one. Don't miss it. <laughs> uh, bye. <laughs>